Hello, welcome to another episode. This episode is all about business ethics. So we could call this Business Ethics 101. So we're just going to listen to some business parables and see what gems we can learn from them. So what do we do about being in business? How can we please God in our business? Thanks for listening. Let's learn together. So let's just relax and listen as I read you two parables of Jesus. Luke chapter 16, verse 1. He also said to his disciples, There was a certain rich man who had a manager. An accusation was made to him that this man was wasting his possessions. He called him and said to him, What is this that I hear about you? Give an accounting of your management, for you can no longer be manager. The manager said within himself, What will I do, seeing that my Lord is taking away the management position from me? I don't have strength to dig. I am ashamed to beg. I know what I will do so that when I am removed from management, they may receive me into their houses. Calling each one of his Lord's debtors to him, he said to the first, How much do you owe to my Lord? He said, A hundred batos of oil. He said to him, Take your bill and sit down quickly and write fifty. Then he said to another, How much do you owe? He said, A hundred cores of wheat. He said to him, Take your bill and write eighty. His Lord commended the dishonest manager because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are, in their own generation, wiser than the children of the light. I tell you, Make for yourselves friends by means of unrighteous mammon, so that when you fail, they may receive you into the eternal tents. He who is faithful in a very little is faithful also in much. He who is dishonest in a very little is also dishonest in much. If therefore You have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon. Who will commit to your trust the true riches? If you have not been faithful in that which is another's, who will give you that which is your own? No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. You aren't able to serve God and mammon. The Pharisees, who were lovers of money, also heard all these things, and they scoffed at him. He said to them, You are those who justify yourselves in the sight of men. But God knows your hearts. For that which is exalted among men is an abomination in the sight of God. Matthew chapter 18, verse 23. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. When he had begun to settle, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. But because he couldn't pay, His Lord commanded him to be sold with his wife, his children, and all that he had, and payment to be made. The servant, therefore, fell down and knelt before him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will repay you all. The Lord of that servant, being moved with compassion, released him and forgave him the debt. But that servant 
went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him 100 denarii. And he grabbed him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down at his feet and begged him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will repay you. He would not, but went and cast him into prison, until he should pay back that which was due. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were exceedingly sorry, and came and told their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord called him in and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you begged me. Shouldn't you also have mercy on your fellow servant, even as I had mercy on you? His Lord was angry and delivered him to the tormentors until he should pay all that was due to him. So my heavenly Father will also do to you, if you don't forgive your brother from your hearts for his misdeeds. So not much comment today. I think the parables speak for themselves. Just be fair and honest with one another. You know, deal fairly with people. I think in today's day and age, just doing that, if you know that if you come to you and you're going to treat them fairly and honestly, it would be so unique in today's world that I think you'd get many customers. So let's keep learning together. So now we have our new modern expression. The love of money is the root of all evil. And this means the love of money will lead you into all kinds of selfish, greedy, and wicked behavior. Can we say Scrooge, anyone? This comes from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some have been led astray from the faith in their greed and have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. You notice that the expression says the love of money is the root of all evil. But in this verse, it says the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. A good distinction.